In this example, we want to use the alternate form of the derivative to find the derivative of the absolute value x plus 1 at the value of negative 1. Okay. So what you see in the box here is the uh, alternate form of the definition of the derivative. So, it's, so basically, if this limit exists, uh, then that would imply that the derivative at c uh, has a uh, uh, exists, okay, or has a, some finite value. Okay. Um, otherwise, if it if the limit doesn't exist, then f prime of c uh, would not exist. Okay. So let's go ahead and apply this definition. Okay. Uh, so we have the limit of x approaches negative 1 for our function, which is x plus 1. We have the absolute value, well, the absolute value x plus 1 minus f of c. Okay, so f of negative 1 is 0. Okay, so we have minus 0 divided by x minus c, and c is negative 1. So that's going to give us x plus 1, okay? And this is going to be, um, so this is the limit as x approaches negative 1 of the absolute value x plus 1, all divided by x plus 1, okay? So we need to go ahead and find the left and right hand limit, okay, for this, uh, for this function, okay? So let's just uh, go ahead and let me go ahead and graph this give you an idea of what this function looks like okay okay so we have a y-axis we have the x-axis so the absolute value x plus 1 is basically just the absolute value x shifted over to the left by one point okay all right so here is so this is, we're going to call that minus 1. Um, so we have the uh, V shape. Okay, so we have something like this. Okay. Okay. So try and make that a little bit better. Okay, so that is the abs that's the uh, general idea of the absolute value of x plus 1. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and... Um, Evaluate the right hand limit, okay? So we have the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right, okay? So x is approaching negative 1 from the right side, so that means, okay, we're on this, on this side, so x is approaching negative 1. Okay, from this direction. Okay, so that means we need to use, okay, we need to use this part of the function. So that's going to be x plus 1, okay. So we're going to have the limit of x plus 1 all divided by x plus 1 as x approaches negative 1 from the right. Okay, so this is going to give us the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right side of 1. Okay, All right. So you have x plus 1 over x plus 1. That simplifies to 1. So we have the limit of the constant, which is just the constant, which is in this case 1. Okay, so now let's compute the left-hand limit. Okay, so we have the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left. Okay, so that, right, so that means we're approaching minus 1 from this side. Okay. So we're going to use, uh, we need to use this part of our function. So that's going to be minus x minus 1. So we take the negative 
of the argument of the absolute value. Okay. So that's going to give us, right? So we have minus x minus 1 all divided by x plus 1. So we can rewrite this as the limit of, we can go ahead and factor out negative. So it's going to leave us with minus on the outside. So we have x plus 1 inside all divided by x plus 1. So we're going to take the limit of that as x approaches negative 1 from the left. And, okay, this x plus 1 cancels out. So that's going to give us the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left of 1. Actually, sorry, uh, negative 1, okay? And so then the limit of that constant is just a constant. So we're left with minus 1, okay? So from here, we have the right-hand limit is equal to 1. Okay. And the left hand limit is equal to negative 1. So obviously these are not the uh, same, so the overall limit doesn't exist. Okay. Alright, so the limit as x approaches negative 1 okay, of our original of our original expression that we had. So we have the absolute value x plus 1 over x plus 1. So that is not equal to the limit of, of our function. As x approaches negative 1 from the left. So these are not the same. Okay, therefore um, since the overall limit doesn't equal, okay, this implies, right, that the limit as x approaches negative 1 of the absolute value x plus 1 over x plus 1 does not exist. Okay. So it doesn't exist. Therefore, the derivative at uh, for our for the function of of the absolute value x plus one, okay. Right. So the derivative evaluate negative one for our function does not exist. Okay. All right. So it's undefined. Okay. So again. Um, this is using the alternate form of the derivative. We, uh, you know, using our function of the absolute value x plus one, we compute the right hand limit, the left hand limit. Uh, we found that the these two limits, the right hand and left hand limits, do not equal. Therefore, the overall limit doesn't equal, and that implies that the derivative, the derivative of our function evaluate negative one, uh, is undefined. Okay.